Hello, my friends. I got a great idea from one of my subscribers in which she suggested that I look at the several single serving pot pies. I did a little research and realized there are a lot of pot pies, including just from Banquet. And you see there's four Banquet pies here. So I have decided to try something different. We are going to do a single elimination tournament style pot pie competition. So this is going to be like March Madness, but with pot pies. So here is the bracket. You can see I've got the four pies here in the banquet section. Now there will be other divisions. And then after each division, we're going to do a tournament face off and see which pot pie is the best. So today's episode, we have the number one seed chicken pot pie versus the number four seed the one that I suspect will be the worst. But that's why we have to run the competition. We don't know if it will be the worst. The chicken and broccoli pot pie. Now, these are both microwavable. So first looking at this, the, the chicken pot pie, 350 calories and ooh, more than 930 milligrams of sodium, whereas the chicken and broccoli only has 330 with 810 sodium. So it's still a lot of sodium but a little bit less. And then let's look back here. Microwave on high, four to five minutes. And then this one, microwave on four to five minutes. Mmm, this chicken one, even though it has more calories, might be a little bit more healthier, unless you're looking for calcium, the 2% of your calcium, let's be honest here. Not doing well there. You might as well just grab a thing of milk. All right. So let the battle begin. First, let's take these out of their containers, see if we can tell any difference. So here's the broccoli, chicken and broccoli one. That opened up very nicely. Okay, looks like a pot pie. Can we, am I brave enough to pop it? Nope, it's not gonna pop out, so we can't really, oh, oh. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but this is your pot pie, okay. And then this one, unfortunately, I opened it before. And I thought the camera was already rolling. And so, oh, they look the same. Nothing concerning or exciting. Oh, okay, and I'm already breaking that one off, so we're not popping that one out. Um, so this one, chicken already has some cracking in the crust, but maybe that's a good thing. Now it says to split the crust. I, I think I did, okay. I'm going to say I did it okay. So let's do one. Just because that's what I am. And then we're going to do, oh, this one. <laughs> Having to really dig into this one. Man, this crust seems harder. They, they came out of the same freezer, I swear. <laughs> oh, wow, it popped in. Wow, wow, I wonder why I was able to go in so easily here. But here is like digging in real deep. Maybe we'll find out. Now, let's pop these guys into the microwave and see what we get. While the food is microwaving, there is one thing in the directions I should note. It says, do not cook in microwave ovens below 1100 watts, as pot pie might not cook thoroughly. So what are the differences between these two pot pies? Well, looking at the pictures, I'm not seeing much of a difference. Looks like we have chicken and both potatoes. Oh, yeah, potatoes. Oh, maybe there aren't potatoes. Okay, there might not be potatoes on, on the broccoli side. Oh. <clears throat> so I'm seeing the chicken, but no potatoes. Pea, well, no, that's that's great. I... Many hours later. So looking at this, and according to the side, the ingredients we're supposed to get, the chicken pot pie comes with potatoes, peas, and carrots. Whereas this one over here swaps out the peas and potatoes for broccoli. These little green things are broccoli, apparently. All right, we've gotten out of the microwave. It told us to let it sit for three minutes. And you'll notice here some of the crust here on the chicken pot pie. That's a little warm. Put it on the box here so I don't burn myself anymore. It is kind of a burnt thing. All right, and since I'm a taste tester, I will try the burnt part. Well, yeah, yeah. Do not eat that part if it's burnt. That is just gross. Now, the first thing, these pies, are relatively small, they're only about seven ounces. So I, I've got a, a soup spoon here. Notice how big it is compared to 
this. All right. So I think for most people, one of these will be perfectly fine. But if you've got a teenager or you're a big guy like me, you might need uh, two of these. So notice on both of these pies, we had some seepage through the holes. Let's cut in. Oh, look how... Look how runny that is. And I'm not seeing a lot of filling. Well, let's try it. I'm here to taste test it. So we have a spoonful here. You'll notice it's got crust and peas. Mm. All right, so this chicken pot pie is not bad. I'm going to see if I can maybe just get the crust by itself. So the crust itself, I'm not going to call it flaky and crispy or anything like that, despite the fact that it calls it a flaky crust on the box here. It's not bad. The, just really, look at the lack of fillings. I'm having to dig around just for a little carrot. It's mostly just this sauce. And I have yet to find a piece of chicken. No, here we go. That piece of chicken is what you expect. It's a nice piece of chicken. But, but I mean, look, look at this. I'm just disappointed at the lack of filling here. All right, so I, I realize, and I was supposed to get a pea. Uh, is that, let me see, so let me dig around. Oh, here's a pea. Hallelujah. I'm actually kind of liking this gravy. It's weird. Very weird. But now let's try the one with broccoli. Let's try the crust. I'm assuming the crust is going to be the same. Yeah, I, I wouldn't call it flaky and crispy. It, it, it's fine. It tastes like a crust. I don't have any really, I'm not praising it, but it's not horrible either. But now let's get a. The spoonful here. Oh, look, we, we actually got a sort of a piece of chicken here. But you notice, again, not a lot of filling, mostly gravy. All right, I'm going to, supposedly there's a piece of broccoli in here. Oh, here it is. Oh, let me go after it. Hallelujah. Got the broccoli. That is a little disappointing. Not a lot of flavor from your bro broccoli. And it, it looks like they pulled it mostly from little pieces and not not the, maybe the stem or something so here's another spoonful and you notice it's all just gravy hmm. oh look here's a carrot okay that carrot surprisingly was the best thing of the whole meal it actually had a little bit of texture and I could actually almost get some flavor from it I confess these I have not had these banquet pot pies for a while. It's been a few years, and unfortunately, it looks like it's gone in a wrong direction here. As you can see, very few, let me, I can just peel back the crust here. See, there is very few toppings, right? So I peel, look, I mean, Gravy, gravy. Oh, there's a carrot there, a piece of chicken there. But look, almost no filling whatsoever other than this gravy. Now, fortunately, I like this gravy, and the crust is okay. That's kind of what saves this. Oh, look, there's a piece of potato here on the chicken one. I haven't tried the chicken or the potato yet. Potatoes generally not have a lot of flavor, and this one's no exception, but this does add some nice needed, a little bit of, I wouldn't call it crunchy, but some texture that is kind of missing, it's particularly from this one. So these I got at Walmart for 96 cents each. And whew, for, for 96 cents, I guess you can't complain a whole lot, but I got to express a lot of disappointment here. So I guess if you have a teenager, you're only down to your last couple of bucks, getting these might be worth it. But I'm going to have to give both of these kind of a, a meh. I, I, I'm surprised. I was really expecting to like this because I remember liking these a lot as a kid. And now I'm just kind of uh, not really looking forward to eating either one of these because it's mostly just gravy so I don't expect this to fill me up maybe it will hello this is Mr. OM from two hours in the future from when I recorded that video and it turns out that yes since it's mostly unfortunately gravy that I wasn't full all the way till dinner so after about just an hour I was already thinking man I'm a little bit hungry I'm wanting a snack and keep in mind I ate two of those pies uh but we'll find out
which one wins. We have the one seed versus the four seed. And the winner is... Well, the traditional chicken pot pie. And while both of these are disappointing, this one had a little bit of broccoli, which I really like, but then I couldn't taste the broccoli when I tried it. This one over, over here has some peas and potatoes. And while the peas were very disappointing, the potatoes give it just that slightest edge over this one. So the number one seed pulls it off and wins over the chicken and broccoli. Next episode, I am going to review the beef pot pie and the turkey pot pie, and then the winner of that is going to take on this chicken pot pie. Hello, my friends. No, you have to be like, hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. And who are you? I'm SSG. And who are you joined with? My dad. And what are we doing today? We're reviewing turkey pot pie and beef pot pie. Yeah, and we're comparing the two, right, to see which one's better. Yes. And which one do you think is going to be on top? Uh, let's say this one. All right, well, I, so we're running a little tournament style. And according to the brackets, this is the two seed and the three seed. And then we're going to compare. After we've figured out the winner of the banquet ones, we're going to go to the other pot pies. Are you in for doing other videos? Yes. All right, so what are we comparing today? Turkey pot pie and beef pot pie. All right, and where did we get these from? Walmart. I bought them at Walmart for 96 cents each. So last time, if you watched my video on the prior one, the chicken pot pie beat out the broccoli pot pie, but I was disappointed with both. So go ahead and open these up, young man. Let's see what we are working with. That's all right. We'll do a, I'll, I'll either edit this out or make a clever joke about not being able to open a box. Oh, careful. So that... That is hard. You can, <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, that is hard. That was in our freezer. All right. So this is the turkey pot pie. That I kind of had to rip the box open. You had to rip the box open. Now let's check out the beef pot pie. Ah, uh, you are my son. We better hope that we can find a picture on the internet. <laughs> because there's no way we're using that box for <laughs> the, the thumbnail or anything, right? And it looks like a piece came off. That's all right. You are my son. I'm so proud. <laughs> and get... Oh, wow. Yeah, that one. Oh, you, you put some... You, you, I was a little, little thing. And you're just like, damn. Well, read the directions, young man. What are we supposed to do with these? Place pot pie in the microwave oven safe plate. Slit top of the crust. <gasps> Slit top of crust? Yes. I have a kniff. Knife. <laughs> knife. Ugh. All right, so since we're supposed to slit holes, let's so we can tell. Let's put one in here, since that's the turkey, and then two in the beef. And, and you're having to try and saw it open, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo! We need to cook this for four to five minutes. All right, so it says we need to let it wait for three minutes, but looking at this, what are you seeing, young man? I'm seeing the beef one burst <laughs> off the sides a little bit. Interestingly enough, where we broke it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably because there might have been a hole or two there. All right, so I'm going to blame you for the holes. What? That was mostly you who created the holes. No, it wasn't. Hours later. And then here's the turkey. Okay. Now remember, the rankings were... If you go back to the tournament, this was ranked at number two and this was ranked at number three. But we will see which one is better. After three minutes. All right, it has been three minutes and my son is making inappropriate comments about the appearance. But speaking of appearance, what would you describe these pies as, young man? Go ahead and feel them. And then you broke it. <laughs> you broke the turkey. <laughs> All right, what about... Th so... so this is supposed to have a flaky crust made from scratch. Are you calling this flaky? A little bit. Really? Because I call it squishy. Oh, this one's definitely squishy. All right. So let's start with the turkey. Okay, so we're going to... Just kind of move that. E All right. So go ahead. I see a little burnt spots over here from the microwaving process, but okay. So go ahead. And get yourself a spoonful there. See what we got. Let's try the crust first. Just the crust? Just the crust. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd agree with you. I don't describe it as flaky. Tastes a lot like a normal pot pie. Mm -hmm. Almost no flavor. Now, actually, the amount of filling in here is... I would say it's decent. What do you say? Yeah, I would say the same thing. It says it's turkey, but it looks like the beef one to me. Like, look at that piece of meat there. Maybe that's a piece of dark meat. Okay. That is definitely turkey. So the turkey is actually surprisingly moist. I'm going to get some of this gravy by itself. I'm going to try that too. I think that's where most of the flavor is coming from. You think most of the flavor is coming from the turkey? No, the gravy. The gra Excuse me, the gravy. Well, I've got a pea and a carrot here. It's kind of a skimpy little carrot, but I'm going to try this. Oh, no, the pea has a little bit of flavor to it. The carrot was completely tasteless. I don't know if you want to try. There we go. There's some carrot and a little bit of the turkey there for you. Okay. All I got was just turkey. Turkey? Yeah. Okay. Just the little dark stuff. Okay, but as you can see, especially compared to my last video, this one has a decent amount of filling, right? Mm hmm So we're not complaining about the filling. But did you enjoy this pot pie overall? Yeah. So you enjoyed the turkey? Yes. Yeah, so you enjoyed the turkey. Awesome. Now let's move on to the uh, beef. The beef. And so let's try the crust here, though. It should probably be the same. I'm going to try this over here. Why don't you try some over there? That's disgusting! Oh. You're not liking that, are you, SSG? No. That is just a meh flavor. Let's... I think the gravy just made that worse. Well, okay, I'm going to try it with just this gravy. Hey. Your face says otherwise. Your face is all scrunched up. You're not enjoying this, are you? Not really. Let's try. I will try a piece of the beef. You're, you're being brave. You can try the piece of the beef if you want, or you can. In fact, there's one there if you want it. There's actually with a little bit of carrot on my spoon. Now, the beef on its own, in my opinion, is, is okay. I'd agree. But there's this gravy. There's an off taste to this gravy, in my opinion. What do you say, SSG? I would agree with you. So, are, are you interested in eating any more of this? Um, not really. Okay, so we're, we are passing on this. Th this gravy is just... Bleh. Bleh. That, that's a good way of describing it. It's somehow watery, and it tastes like it's a little past its expiration date all at the same time. Like they use some expired beef or, or drippings or something to make this. It's just... Kind of gross, actually. Would you agree with me, SSG? Yeah, I would agree with you. So you know what? We are actually going to throw away the beef pot pie. I should have ranked this one as number four. This is easily the worst pot pie of the four. This one overall, we're going to give this one a thumbs down. Double thumbs down. However, the turkey pot pie, did we enjoy this one? Yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, so I give a thumbs up to this one. And I really like... Compared to the chicken pot pie, this one actually has a nice amount of fillings. The gravy works together with the turkey. What do you think, SSG? I'd agree with you on all those points. All those points? Awesome. The next episode, we are going to run the turkey against the chicken pot pie. Hello, my friends! This is our final round of the banquet pot pie battle. We have the number one seed, chicken pot pie. And you remember, I was a little disappointed when I ran the pot pies. There wasn't a lot of filling. And so I was disappointed, kind of meh on both. However, it was the turkey pot pie versus the beef pot pie. And just like that time, I'm joined with... SSG! Hello. All right. And do you remember SSG? We had the turkey versus the what pie? Beef. And what was wrong with the beef? It tasted nasty, and we wound up throwing it away because of that. Yes, and, and do I like throwing food away? No. So that was like a once-in-a-lifetime situation for you where I threw it away, right? Yes. But we both really like this one. Yes. Based on the experiences I've had, even though this is the number one seed, I'd actually give it to the turkey pot pie right now. That's the one I'm thinking might win. What do you think, young man? I think thinking turkey pot pie might win as well. All right. Even though I've never had the chicken. You've never had the chicken? Well, you're gonna, we're going to fix that today. So we need to cut a slit on top, microwave for four to five minutes, pop open the turkey. I'm going to pop open the chicken. Yeah, apparently I, I am terrible at opening boxes. It's genetic. So we have the turkey over here, chicken over here. Are we seeing any huge differences between these pots? That one's kind of dented in. Well, there's a 
dent right here as well. Yeah, look at all this just kind of deflated. I'm hoping there's some filling in here. I'm, I'm, okay, we'll find out. So, what do we need? We need a knife. So, I actually have the knife because we're going to use a sharp knife, apparently. That's the, the knife that uh, SSG wanted. Well, it's better than the butter knife. <laughs> True. So, oh, again, yeah. Uh, I see, and I'm, I'm breaking crust pieces off. Oh no, on that one. And then I'm gonna do even the with turkey. A even with a normal knife, it's actually difficult. It is. All right, so the chicken has one, turkey has two. So we're gonna microwave this. Well, let me put this away because if I, oh, that could be bad. So we are then gonna microwave this, and we will be right back. While the pot pies are cooking. We can sit there and see the turkey is 320 calories versus 350 for the chicken. And then nutrient-wise, you get a little calcium in the turkey, but that's about the big difference. All right, so we have microwaved these. I'll let them sit for a couple of minutes in the microwave like it said we were supposed to. And you'll note I'm using a plate because I'm with SSG and apparently burning SSG on camera would be bad. I'm fuzzy on the whole good, bad thing. What do you mean bad? Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Total protonic reversal. All right, that's bad. Okay. All right, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. What are you seeing here? That one looked like it just basically completely deflated, and it looks kind of mushy. Mushy? Does it feel mushy? Yeah. Okay. And that part is really thin. This part, it's a little thicker, and it's not quite as mushy. Not quite as mushy? And it looks harder than the other one, and it's not quite as deflated. Yeah, that's interesting. Color-wise, what do you think? The turkey is a bit darker than the chicken. Yes. I almost describe it as kind of a sickly brown color, which is weird. All right. Anyway, taste is what matters, right, SSG? Yes. So which one should we try first, the turkey or the chicken? I would say chicken. All right, let's... Mostly because I haven't had that one. Before. All right, so let's try the crust first. All right, so the crust, what do you think about this SSG? You tried some on the edge here and in the middle here. So the middle, to me, tastes like mashed potatoes with gravy. Really? Mashed potatoes and gravy? Yes, and the edge tastes like green bean casserole. Oh, okay, so you're, you're getting your Thanksgiving dinner right here then. <laughs> Basically, except without the turkey. I agree. I, I kind of like the, this. It, it's a little soggy here, but I kind of like the taste. I wouldn't quite go mashed potatoes and gravy, but I do really like this gravy. So let's, I, I'm going to try some of this gravy by itself. Me too. Like this isn't, isn't as hard as getting the one on the edge. All right, so I really like that gravy. That, that That's a tasty gravy. So Banquet hit it out of the park with gravy. What did you think, SSG? I, I would say the same thing, except I accidentally got a carrot, and it's actually crunchy. Crunchy? Okay, let's see. Oh, there, well, there was a carrot, and then I... Buried it. Buried it under all the gravy. Okay, there is now a carrot in here. See, my gravy, my, my carrot was uh, mush. It's interesting that yours was all crunchy. You said it was undercooked? Yeah, basically. Okay, well, did you taste anything? I tasted a tiny bit. Okay, I had a, this problem earlier, but look at this. There is no... Peel back the crust. Oh, here's some turkey over, or chicken. Excuse me. So here's some chicken over here. But there but look is at, mostly gravy. It's gravy. Yeah, there's very little topping. So I'm gonna get see if I can get a little bit. Oh, that might be a carrot instead of chicken. That chicken is good. Yeah, I I agree. This chicken it's cooked really well. It's nice and moist. It's flavorful. I think it's made out of dark meat. Maybe it's white meat. Who knows? I think it's dark meat. Me too. And we like dark meat, don't we? Yes. So overall, I like the taste of everything like this, but I am really sad at the lack of toppings, or not toppings, fillings, right? Yes. Okay, so let's set that as a side. And let's try the turkey. All right, same thing. Let's try the crust first. I actually got part of the gravy. I really like it. And the crust and the center taste basically the same to me. And it tastes like regular pie crust, though. I really like that gravy, too. Slightly different, though I guess it's because it has turkey instead of chicken. Now opening this up, what's the first thing you noticed, SSG? That there's a lot more toppings than the other one. Yeah, there's a lot more turkey. I don't know, maybe, maybe turkey's cheaper than chicken or, or something. But oh, look, we've got peas. 
Got the carrots. I can actually see the carrots. I'm going to try this big piece of carrot. I'll try this one. Okay. That piece of carrot, for me, you're right, that was crunchy. That was not fully cooked. So, those big pieces of carrot are undercooked. Now, I'm only seeing the one pea. Oh, no, no, I see another pea. You want to try pea? Sure, pea. Tastes like a normal pea. It does taste like a normal pea. That one was also, that one was actually cooked decently, I thought. But now, here, I think, no, there's also potatoes in there somewhere. I'm going to try the turkey first now. Me too. All right, SSG, what did you think of the turkey? That turkey is actually better than the chicken, the other one. You like it better than chicken? I would agree. It's dark meat. And I'm trying to find a potato. I'm feeling let down by the potatoes. Oh, oh go, yep, go for it. Potato. Right, you got half of it. I'll take the other half. All right, it's a potato. It was good. So now I'm going to just get a little spoonful. Yeah, that potato tastes a lot like those potatoes in loaded potato soup, except it's not quite as crunchy. Not as crunchy? I agree. Why don't you get a spoonful of, of several things in there and see how it works together. So between these two, which did you like the most? Turkey. I too also chose the turkey. So the turkey is the big winner. So let me ask you though, the chicken pot pie, do you give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, or a meh? Kind of meh closer to a thumbs up. Okay. Kind of in between those two. I, I, I'll give this a meh. My, my rating's unchanged. The problem, these, these taste good. I actually like the way they taste, but... The lack of filling, really, is the issue. But taste-wise, I really like this one. And these are both 96 cents. So if you have an option, I would go with this one. Though you're not going to be horribly disappointed with this one. What do you think, SSG? I would agree. So this one gets a thumbs up. Woo! Woo! All right. If you like these reviews and want them to continue, or these kind of videos, and you want them to continue, please leave a comment down below and hit like and subscribe. And I have a couple of playlists over here that I think you'll enjoy. Until next time, bye!